Hello, I'm going to show you how to file a VAT return using Apple Numbers. So we're on the 123 Sheets homepage here. We need to go to VAT and we're going to select this Download Filing Worksheet link and choose the Apple Numbers filing template. And I'm going to move it onto my desktop. Put it there. And then we need to open it up. So here's the filing template. You need to make sure that you don't insert or delete any rows so that when the file is uploaded to our website, it can find the correct figures. Now you can either transpose your figures directly to this spreadsheet from a different spreadsheet that you have your bookkeeping on, or alternatively, you can insert this filing template into an existing spreadsheet, which is what I'm going to do. So let's open up my pretend bookkeeping file. So I've got some fictitious purchases, some fictitious sales, and I'm going to copy this filing template into my bookkeeping spreadsheet. There it is. Now I need to transpose the figures. So I select my box one, press an equal sign, go and find the sales VAT and press enter and do a similar thing for the other boxes. So purchases VAT next, select the cell, press equals, go to where my purchase VAT is, select that and hit enter. And then do the same for the remaining boxes. So sales net and purchases net. Press enter and then I'll save my file and I'll make a note of the VAT. There it says £2,066.40, so that's what I'm expecting to send to HMRC. So I can close all of these now. Then I'll need to log in next. And for the purposes of this dem demonstration, I'm just going to use our demonstration filing facility. <clears throat> Uh, when you've created your account and you've authorized the software, put your VAT number to the software, you then see a page like this with the return to do, and then you select file return, and you select the Apple Numbers option. You can then either drag and drop here the Apple Numbers file that we saw earlier, or alternatively you can uh, choose, click on the choose file button, which is what I'm going to do here, and I'll select that, and I'll upload the file. And here are the figures, and it's correctly picked up, yep, £2,066.40. And I need to tick the confirmation box, and then click on File That Return. And it's as simple as that. And then you get back a message, return has been accepted. And that's it filed. Thank you. Bye.